crispy. Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Ant-Man series, Marvel Legend Infinite series, Grim Reaper. Doo -doo -doo. Pretty wicked looking figure. I hope that face mold came out looking good on mine because that looks really nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, read that, pause it if you like. And then at the bottom here, we see all the other figures in the set. I will be reviewing all of them, so stay tuned. But for now, let's open this guy up. I am very pleased with the way the face mold came out on this figure and the paint overall. Uh, the mold and the paint, I am pleased with it, but it looks... There's something off. It's a bit too basic, in my opinion, throughout the body. Maybe it's just too blue and not enough design. The back actually doesn't look any better. It doesn't do any favors. Um... This is the same cape that came with the Vision and the Build-A-Figure Hulk Wave, and I really like this cape. They actually added shading in this one. I don't remember them adding that on the Vision character. Let's look. Yeah, they didn't add that on Vision. Visions is just plain yellow with no shading, but here on this one we get some darker colors throughout, and that just looks really awesome. I love the motion in this cape. This is a really awesome mold for a cape. As he spins around here, let's get a quick look at that face. That came out looking awesome. He is so menacing. He looks like a Grim Reaper. That's a pretty awesome face sculpt right there. And then we see those little, whatever, the crown thing on his head. Whatever those things are. Then we look, get a little look at his scythe here. Mine's a little bent because of the way it came out of the package. You can see it there. I'm sure it's fixable. And we get a quick look at a symbol. And we got gauntlets on his hand. Those are just painted on. Uh, I would remove the cape, but there's really nothing to look at back there. You know, there's nothing to look at the legs. I think that's what it is. It's just... Not much detail in the legs. And, uh, like up here, detail down there, it's kind of like, eh. And the back is kind of, eh. But the Grim Reaper's head will go down this far. Not very far at all. I think it's actually being hithered by his cape a little bit right there. Let's try it. Nah, that's about it anyways. And you can look back that far. Uh, see the cape? It's just a hole on his back. Plugs in that way. It fits pretty nicely. I've had problems with past Marvel Legends capes with them just falling off really easily, but these ones seem to stay on pretty well. Uh, we'll go with arm articulation on this side. We'll do shoulders. Some pretty basic stuff here from Marvel Legends. They go up that high. And it'll go 360. Upper bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow there. And then we get a swivel down here at the base. And that's all we're going to get on this arm. And then over here... We get the double jointed elbows, of course, and then we get the wrist with the hinge and the swivel. Uh, I didn't mention this before when we were looking at the mold, but I wish they would have gone with a different hand sculpt. This one doesn't seem to be doing the figure any favors. Maybe if it had an open hand one, like this, or a closed fist, those would have been a lot better. But this looks like he should be holding something, and he didn't come with anything to hold. And uh, I don't know what I would give him to hold, since he already has a weapon. He probably doesn't use a gun. So I wish it would have came with a different hand sculpt for sure. You can bend down that far. You can look back that far. He's got the waist swivel. His legs will go up that high. They won't go back that far. Upper thigh swivel. He's got the double jointed knees. And as you can just see, the calf swivel. And then he's got the boots on with the swivel and the ankle rocker. Or the hinge of the ankle rocker, I should say. And that's about it. So overall, I really like this figure. The mold is something we've seen before. Not a lot of detail in the paint, which is kind of unfortunate. We do get the symbol right there, but I guess the plus side is we're not getting any paint mishaps with paint showing through the white or anything crazy like that. But this face came out exceptional. I hope everyone's face comes out as good as mine, because that looks freaking awesome. No one can deny that. I like, I like his sight there and everything. Uh... It's a really cool figure. I would recommend going out and getting it. Hasbro, I like it, the fact that they're uh, going out on a limb there and giving us uh, lesser-known figures like Tiger Shark and Grim Reaper here so that we can complete our Marvel Legends characters and stuff like that. Uh, if you're interested in the set, check out Big Bad Toy Store. i got a link in the description below. Uh, other than that, like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a good day. Peace out.